there's a difference between this word right here. Mm -hmm. Man and male. Okay. Okay. I am born a male. And when I am born, I am a boy. Mm -hmm. I am not a man. Manhood is a stage of life that a male child reaches with, matu with maturity. Mm -hmm. So therefore, there's the agreeance in it. I do agree with that. That maturity plays a part in becoming a man. But I don't I don't agree with the point that you were, we're born men or born women. We're born a male and born female. Mm -hmm. You know, because I can't call um, like my grandson. I can't say my grandson, uh, um, Cameron, he's a man right now. He's not. You know, he's, he's a child. So, but he has a lot to learn in becoming a man. It's like when we use Jay as an example, when you first met Jay, you know, mm -hmm. there's just certain attributes about him that he just wasn't, he hasn't reached his maturity of a man yet. Right, right. So therefore, you couldn't say that he was a man. Let's just take the terminology real out, you know, because we're humans. We're all real to an extent, you know, but I think I have to agree with you on this. I think we need to find other words to define this because that real man and real woman, it's just really, it's so it's picked up in the social media and I really think and I really feel that some immature people plugged it in there and it just caught on because it's so easy to say. Now, but if we catch on to something, say a mature man or an immature boy, because just like our segment here, boy, man. Mm -hmm. There's only two differences. Boy, man. Because if you're not a man, what are you? Well, well let me let me, let me say this then, okay? I understand what you're saying and I can give some credence to it, but not completely because just like you can have a really mature boy, okay? You can have a really mature boy. I, I remember watching this show where there was this young boy that graduated from college, he was 13 years old and he already had a master's degree. Still a boy. But he was still a boy. He had acquired or was walking in a lot of the attributes of manhood. He was accountable, he was responsible, he loved only one woman, his mommy. <laughs> okay? I mean, he had a lot of those attributes that you were talking about, but he was still a boy. And I think that, you know, when, when you leave, let's go back to using that example again. If you have a very immature man who is, let's say he's 35 or 40 years old. I knew this guy that was 40 years old. He did not work. He played video games all day. He didn't cook. Boy. He didn't clean. But he was still a man. He's a boy. He was an immature man. The so you can. Boy. No. <laughs> no. He was an immature man. You can have a mature boy. And you can you have, have an, an immature, immature man. man. I totally agree. But what I'm saying, the statement that I made when I said what makes you a real man, no, you're not born a man, but you are born divinely assigned to be a man when no, you're no born doubt. a male. No That's doubt. what I'm talking about. So when you grow out of boyhood, whether you mature mentally into manhood or not, once you're no longer a boy, you are, you are a man. Yes. You're just an immature man that is not walking in the glory of your manhood. And so Undeveloped. You, you're missing the, the, the beauty of the whole purpose of being a man. You're missing the benefit. I think there are a lot of benefits to being again. a man. The, the beauty of be what did you just say? I that was you're missing the beauty of being a man. Wow. Because you are carrying yourself like a boy. Wow. Wow. So, you know, the Apostle Paul said,